Once more onto the bridge, dear friends. Once more. Ah! Oh, hi. Have you been there all this time? You caught me in the middle of practicing my monologue for my Shakespeare show. Oh, sorry about that. Where are my manners? Hi, welcome. Welcome, my name is Juan, and I'm gonna be your tour guide as we explore the magical world of theater. Today, we'll define what theater is. We will also discuss the different ways in which theater can benefit your life, both on an academic and on a personal level. Finally, we will give you a brief overview of what to expect from this course, as you and I embark on a journey throughout the different eras and styles of the theater world. So raise your swords and imitate the actions of the tiger. Oh, wow. I'm talking like Harry Five again. Sorry about that. You know, sometimes I get into character and it's really hard to shake it off. You know what I mean? Anyhow, let's get this show on the road. Ready, set, action! Let's start from the top. What is theater? Take a second to think how would you define theater? and what past experiences you've had with it. Feel free to pause the video and write down what you think. Did you go to theater camp? Or maybe you've seen a show in a theater before. If you did, how was that like? What did you enjoy about it? Theater is defined as a collaborative art form that combines words, voice, movement, and visual elements to tell a story. It has the ability to transport audiences into another world for a period of time and blur the lines between fantasy and reality. For example, theater can transport you to ancient Egypt or to a tavern in the wild, wild west. Sorry. It can even take you to a ship in outer space. I wonder if gravity works here. Yeah, it does. <laughs> and the fantastic thing about theater is that at the core of it, you only need four things to create a piece of theater. Your voice, your imagination, your body, and an ensemble of fellow actors. So in short, to make theater, all you need to have is Bye! <laughs> Now that we have defined theater, the question many of you may have is, why should I study theater? Why is this important? Well, I'm glad you asked that, because now I can tell you some of the ways in which theater will benefit you both as a student and as a person. Let's check it out. Number one, theater is a powerful tool for self-expression. Sometimes we as humans have feelings and thoughts that we can't explain, so we use art, music, and yes, theater to express ourselves in a healthy way. So next time you feel angry, instead of punching a wall, try performing a monologue. Your hands will thank you. Number two, theater will increase your confidence and soft skills like communication, problem solving, and flexibility. It will give you the strong sense of confidence you deserve. Number three, practicing theater will make you better at teamwork. Any successful production requires a strong team that can work together on and off the stage. The phrase, teamwork makes the dream work, is not just a saying in theater. It's a requirement. Number four, theater will increase your organizational skills. Theater requires discipline and time management. It will teach you how to be more organized and an overall better professional. Number five, theater will increase your empathy, which is a huge trait. By practicing theater, you will learn to better understand feelings like pain, happiness, sadness, loss, love, and virtually every emotion you need to successfully navigate this world. And now that you know just how much theater can improve your life, let's do an overview of what you will learn throughout this course. Get ready for a really cool journey. In our first unit, Theater 101, we will explore how theater looks backstage, the different types of stages that exist, and important phrases and people to know in the theater. 
Our next two units, Around the World and Western Theater, explore the history of theater. If acting isn't really your thing and you prefer other areas of the theater, the fourth unit is perfect for you. In tech theater, we will show you all the different skills you can develop besides performance, like lighting design or costume design. But we couldn't talk about theater without mentioning performance. Our units five and six, performance and acting 101, focuses on different styles of performances, like stand-up comedy, miming, or improv, as well as showing you how rehearsals and scene work happen in the theater. Finally, our last unit, Careers in the Arts, will show you some of the avenues you can take in the arts, as well as showing you how theater can help you excel in other fields, such as law, business, or politics even. That's it for today's video. Remember, my name is Juan, and I'm really excited to take this journey with you. Now, before we go, let's take another crack at that Henry V monologue, shall we? Once more unto the bridge, dear friends, once more, or close the wall up with our English dead. Hmm. Needs a little bit more work. Okay, I'm gonna go practice while you check out the game and supplemental PDF for this lesson. That's all for today, but I will see you next class. Until then, Remember, in theater, like in life, the limit is your imagination. Hey.